graphic styles in Illustrator CS5. Same approach can be for CS4, etc. Now, graphic styles are collections of live effects, gradients, fills, that sort of thing. Now, go to the window, graphic styles, and actually will display the graphic style palette. I've actually got it here. Now, I've got a selection of graphic styles already included in that. You can load more via the open graphic style library, other library option. Many styles exist on the web. You can also find obviously ones that come with uh, Illustrator. There's also many on graphicextras.com. Now, I've actually got just a standard part here. I'm just gonna just gonna apply a, a graphic style to that. I'm just gonna one of the, the diagonal styles. So I'm just gonna click on that. So I can just go through all the various graphic styles. Basically collections of gradients. Now to actually modify those, go into the go to the window, appearance, and as soon as you've done that, you will see you've got a stroke, fill, well actually you've got no stroke for that one. So you've got see there's no stroke on there. So you could actually add one there if you wish. Fill, fill again and a fill. I've actually just created it using various add new fills or duplications of fills. So I click on that fill there, I can actually modify the fill. I can actually just change it to say just a standard color, just a normal color that comes with thing. Or I can just go back to some another another one of these uh, styles. I'm just going to click on that. So I can now modify that gradient. If I wish to modify the actual gradient, to go to the gradient tool, gradient tool, and I can just modify the gradient as I would any other gradient. So just change it, change the angles, as well as modify the stops, add different colours to the design, the style. Now, of course, I can actually modify the other ones. It's actually, like I say, it's a combination of various fills. So you can change the opacity for that. So make it fade away, so you make it less of an effect. Of course, you can change the actual way it combines. So instead of using hard light, I use difference. So you can get completely different, such so more sort of three-dimensional effect there using difference. So you can again, like I say, if you wish, you can do duplicate. You can duplicate the item, like create, modify that to some other color. So you can get that sort of thing. Again, you change the opacity. You can change the blending mode. So you can create a whole vast number of different styles just via the appearance palette. And again, add new fill, or add new stroke. Of course, you can also, if you wish, you can extend it even further and add a live effect. So if you want, say, a blur at this point into the start. So you can actually blur the, just kind of move that so it applies it. So it actually applies it to the actual whole path instead of just the the actual fill that was uh, was there so that's a quick way of modifying a style now if you wish to save the style the new style just go to the graphic style palette new graphic style and you can just save that selection of effects as a new graphic style and again of course you can then go back and modify it again and you can just keep adding various strokes and fills as you wish to that.